What's going on, everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So for today's episode of Weekday Workouts on Bongos. Guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! We're actually going to do a kind of a combination of the two things we've learned so far, but in the middle of a combination. A combination of a combination. Oh yeah. To all the new subscribers, welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez, but I'm pretty sure you know that. That's why you subscribed, but thank you. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button. Yes, we are doing videos this whole week, so uh, if you caught this channel, you caught it at a good time. And to all my day ones, man, I seriously appreciate you guys, all the love, the support, all the comments you guys have given so far this week, man. Seriously means so much to me, man. So uh, I do appreciate the love. So today's video is kind of a combination of the both. We're going to be doing a combination of that palm finger movement with a slap, but it's gonna be intense. So uh, first, let me uh, kind of show you the pattern first and then I'll break it down for you. You gotta love it, man. So uh, this combination is pretty simple. What we're going to do first to start the whole combination is a base on the embra. So it's gonna be kind of like towards the center, more use of your palm right in the middle. After doing that base on the embra, you're going to do that palm finger movement I showed yesterday. So it's gonna look like this. So to put that together, after doing that finger with your left hand, you're going to do an open on the embra. And then to finish off the combination, a close slap with your left hand. So to put the whole combination together, it's gonna to sound like this. It's very similar to a five stroke roll, but obviously you're kind of splitting the work and it's a little bit more difficult because you're doing different elements in different places, right? So people normally slap with their right hand here on the macho, but in this case, we're doing it with our left hand. So that exercise really starts coming in handy because the space that you have from doing this finger movement to then coming back and doing a closed slap Oh yeah, you gotta really like uh, kind of maneuver and think about that, so. And most of y'all are probably wondering, well, why do I even need this? Seriously, rarely you're probably set up like this, especially if you're playing seated and, and not on a stand and the bongos are in between your legs but doing these type of movements one not a lot of people play that way man two it's really gonna kind of force you to work with your left hand and not put all the burden on your dominant hand because really all the work is right here it's on your left hand And what, if you start to speed it up, what you start noticing is you start doing kind of
it's it's kind of like three notes real quick. So it's really cool, man. When you start developing that, it makes things a lot, a lot simpler. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. We're already halfway this thing. Oh, yeah. You got to love it, man. You got to love it.